Hello AP Gov students. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find out um, about polls and about um, special interest lobbying. So let's start with polls. Um, here I am on the LibGuide, uh, which is humefoghs.libguides.com slash govt. And you notice here on the right hand side I do have some good poll sources. And um, I really like these four, so I'm going to show them to you. Um, now, in the report that you do, you need to be very specific and point out the exact date and when the polls occurred. And if you have the same question, poll being done um, several times, like that's frequently done, you only count that as one poll, okay? So um, let me give you an example. So here's polling report. Now, I love polling report because really it's what we call an aggregator. Now I know you're looking at this and you're looking at all these ads and you're thinking oh Miss Smithfield really have you lost your mind you know you don't like stuff like that but um, polling report can be really useful especially for those of you who have kind of what I call big ticket issues because it's what we call an aggregator so look at this on same-sex marriage for example Notice this is the same question. Here's your source. It's CBS News poll. And the same question has been asked uh, over again. Um, so even in, when we look at this, uh, even in just the past eight months, you've had um, a growth in the percent of people who should think it should be legal or not, uh, who think it should be legal for same-sex couples to marry. Um, and so, uh, and then, so you have all these sources. Once again, if you're citing it, don't cite polling report, cite whatever the news source is. And even though you have all these separate ones, um, they all, it all counts as one poll. It's the same question. It's been asked at different times. Um, so what you can get from these polls is wonderful statistics. If you see things that grow um, th or change over time, then that can be really, really helpful for you. Okay. Uh, so um, polling report, I do like that. Now, if you have uh, a kind of what I call a more obscure topic, like let's say I was doing something on school libraries. There's nothing here on school libraries, but there is um, stuff here on uh, education. So maybe I would look at education and uh, pick on that and then um, go from there. Uh, so uh, I can use some of that information to uh, help me. Um, so here's my second resource. Uh, once again, everything's on the LibGuide. And so Pew Research. Man, I love Pew Research so much. Uh, so what I love about it is that um, it, all ha it has this topics category that is so helpful. Okay, so once again, I can go and I can, you know, kind of get big ticket issues. Like let's say I'm doing... Um, school libraries, I might go to education or I might go to censorship. I mean, it just depends on uh, what I'm doing. I can, uh, it has related topics. I can look at certain years. Um, so really, really, really helpful. Um, and then I can go grab, um, so maybe I'm going to use this one. Um, I kind of click on that and it's going to kind of give me a summary. Um, and then I can use that summary uh, to get, you know, for information. Um, and maybe I'll use that to revise my infographic later. Huh? I don't know. But that's pretty helpful. So really like that. Once again, you want to say, you want to cite the specific, um, the specific date of the, uh, you know, release of the article. Okay. So it's not a formal citation. But you do want to say, according to a November 5th, 2012 uh, poll or whenever the poll occurred, then um, you're going uh, to use that. So love that. Um, next one on here is kind of similar, and that's Gallup. And same thing here. I can type in a topic and uh, bring that up. It also has some kind of general categories. 
Um, and you want to try to be kind of specific because sometimes you can get overwhelmed by too many results. So, you know, maybe there's something here I can use. If there isn't anything, maybe I go to the bigger issue. So maybe, um, you know, although I'm doing a report specifically on school libraries and how there should be increased funding for school librarians, maybe I go, to, uh, and there's really nothing here that's helping me out a lot, maybe I go and I start looking up education. So think of the broader topic that it's under. And the last one, is Ramison reports and you can see that right here it does tend to le lean a little conservative so um, I'm not sure there's going to be anything for school libraries here uh, in this case I'm actually searching without uh, the quotation marks uh, but I might have to search with it because I have 85 results sometimes um, sometimes that happens okay so here I'm trying school library uh, maybe I'm going to just kind of go to education and see what kind of comes up I might click on um, so this is kind of a general topic um, um, and I can click on what America thinks as well which is kind of like some general um, uh, kind of uh, more of a specific talking source um, so but here's the education uh, kind of thread and some things uh, about that specifically so um, pretty easy to find some good polls if you have trouble with that let me know okay so the next thing you have to do is you have to find out information about special interest groups now this is really important and it is frequently a question on the AP test and we want you to know about how these special interest groups operate and how they influence politics so the first thing you need to do and this is where Google is your friend is you need to figure out organizations uh, lobbying organizations uh, you know these organizations that are involved in, uh, in in these special interest groups now here you see here that I do have a couple links um, but uh, that's not going to have something for everyone so part of it is, is it's you know I know you're here like Miss Midfield about that com but uh, sometimes this can be helpful um, and I you know it's just kind of a general sort of um, those broader topics of course if you have something really specific it's going to be a little harder and that's when we have to kind of think outside the box okay uh, a little bit but um, anyway so uh, here's another list that might help you out um, and these are uh, really cool national special interest groups and um, that can really help you out and these are broad categories so that makes um, that's pretty helpful um, if you have something that involves spending money okay like uh, then I would uh, encourage you to look at the budget spending and taxes so uh, for example uh, you know the um, the Cato Institute might be a really good one to look at if you have someone who's uh, if you have uh, are looking f uh, for uh, and special interest groups as advocating um, on more kind of you know being careful about spending money on certain things that would be kind of more uh, Republican leaning than the Cato Institute would be helpful so uh, a lot of times you can look through these and then kind of get a feel like oh yeah this group is really against spending money on just about anything like citizens against government waste so they're not going to want to spend money on wastefully on something so then you can use those okay so well once you find your uh, special interest groups and if you need help with that let me know uh, then uh, you're going to be using um, that um, organization's website to give you a lot of information and you're really going to be analyzing what that organization does you're going to be looking at um, how they're you know are they uh, you know are they testifying before Congress are they doing things like are, are they spending money on lobbyists in Washington what sort of different things are they doing okay so in uh, for for my uh, one of my organizations let's say I'm my uh, my topic is libraries and I want to support school libraries so um, 
the American Library Association uh, is, you know, certainly has a big uh, job in that. And so maybe first of all, I want to get some history of it. So, um, you know, once again, Google's your friend if you use it right. And so maybe I look for the history of it, okay? Um, and then there you go. It's going to give me some uh, information about that. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe do I, did they testify? So maybe I want to look up congress, congressional uh, testimony. Have they testified before Congress? Well, look there. Testimony submitted for the record. Bang! Now I can look at that and I can say, ooh, that's one way they're really influencing, um, you know, uh, the politics and government is that they're testifying before Congress. Um, so, uh, and now this is something that's really going to be helpful is open secrets. Um, and um, we do have to be really careful when we're typing in uh, organizations because you'll be here like, why is this organization isn't in here? And it's pretty... Uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's a little f funky. So, like, for example, if I type in American Library Association, I bet it won't come up. Okay, and then, oh, well, it did. Okay, well, I lied. Okay, oops. But a lot of times it doesn't. So, if it doesn't come up, backtrack, type in, like, the first word or the first couple words and not the whole thing. Okay, so once I have an organization, I can bring that up. I can click on it. And so um, I can see here that the American Libra uh, Library Association, I can see how much they spent on lobbying. So they are spending money on lobbying. Also, um, they have their, um, they're spending money, uh, they're spending uh, money to contribute. There's, there's contributing from individual um, people who belong to that organization. Um, but this is where they're really kind of doing a lot of stuff. And so um, they have specific um, lobbyists that they pay. Um, and um, <coughs> this will tell you what they're, what the bills that they're, um, you know, different, uh, that they're kind of, uh, uh, lobbying for so kind of around that so it's kind of interesting to see so that's really helpful okay and then you're gonna you're gonna really you're gonna spend some time with, with this organization with their website on open secrets and you're gonna find out this information about them because you you have to figure out wh what ways are they influencing um, voting you know what how are they contributing um, and that's when you you have to justify it so you can't just say, oh, I think the American Library Association is doing this. No, you're going to be very specific according to, um, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, the, the American Library Association lobbied for several bills in 2012 and they spent, you know, however much, $263,000 on lobbyists. This shows that they are influencing uh, in this way. So... I think that's going to help you look at the guidelines. Of course, I'm available to help. And um, just let me know how I can help you. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.